All right, guys, today's video is really a compilation of pretty much all of our feeding videos, and it's going to cover, say, from about eight weeks to eight months of feeding Bella, our Canny Corso puppy. As I said before, not a vet. So if you have questions, get with your vet. But we feed mainly raw with kibble available throughout the day. So if you have any questions, just feel free to message me or leave any comments. And this is really the best for us. I mean, our dog has gained 90 pounds and is ultra healthy, according to the vet. She's really doing well. So I hope you enjoy this, this uh, compilation of videos. Uh, please subscribe to our channel, like, comment, and we appreciate your time. All right, guys. So we are working on our dog, our new can, uh, Canny Corso puppy. She is starting to, we're starting her on, um, on uh, raw food, mixing in with her Victor uh, dog food. And this is a beef heart. And so I'm going to cut this up because she's, we're going to, we're reasoning her in things to make sure that there is no food allergies. So I'm going to cut up a little bit of this beef heart and then I'm actually going to cut up a little bit of liver. So I'm going to see how she does on it. So as you can see, we cut it up. I already gave her a little piece just to see what she thinks. Uh, she wants me to go hold her so you'll hear her whining a little bit in the background. Um, I really, I defrosted my beef liver too much, too soon. We're eventually going to do a whole week of meals. But I defrosted way too soon. So we're also working on getting our our bug, our pug um, Bostera mix on, on, um, on uh, a raw diet. So I give her a big chunk of it and the rest is being tossed. Um, but at least it was only a couple bucks, but lesson learned, you know, don't do frostings too early. Um, I'm also going to have to do that with the, with the beef liver I got because I defrosted too early. I was a little too excited. So next we're going to look at beef liver. This is going to be her dinner tonight. Uh, it's going to be mixed with, and yeah, I, I know it's a little bit too much food. So I'm going to not give her all this, but it's going to be mixed with Victor, like I said. So I'm going to pause for a second because I am not using my, my GoPro right now. I'm using my cell phone to record this. I know. Lamo, but uh, that's how you do it sometimes. So this is actual Bella, and let's see what she thinks. Oh, you! Oh, good goodness! You love that that beef heart, don't you? You wolf that down, Bella. You wolf that down. All right. So this is beef liver and everything. Um, this way it looks like Bella wants more playtime, but I'm I'm doing this right now. And I'm gonna play with her, but. I'm getting ready to chop this up and I'm gonna put that in for food tonight too. Because we're just trying to make sure she's not allergic to anything because you never know. I'm about to chop this up. Alright, so we saw how Bella loved beef liver. I mean a heart. Oh ah, she's about to eat my hand. No, Bella. No. She about ate my hand to get that, <laughs> that beef liver. She loves it. Bella, you are a superstar the way you love that. I'll give you another little treat bit of it in a minute. All right, I'll give you another treat bit in a minute. The cute little thing that you are. All right, guys, it's time to make Bella's food for the day. You see, I got her some Victor kibble. And I'm about to put some Omega fish oil on there. Just a good pump and everything. And then I'm going to cut up this chicken and give it to her. Now, typically she'd get an ounce a day, but she didn't get any meat yesterday. So we're going to give her to this morning 2.2 ounces. So I'm going to cut that up and add it to it. And I'll show you that in a second. So as you can see, cut up chicken breast, um, her Victor, which I'm going to keep mixing those together for a while. I know some people will stop doing it all together, but I want to make sure she's getting those nutrients while she's a puppy. And uh, the fish oils I said, which I think is gives them a lot of extra stuff. They need a lot of vitamins and minerals. So today's raw food for uh, for Bella. All right, guys, welcome back. This is second day of giving Bella a chicken. Gave her a little more than an ounce today because uh, she probably won't get a snack this afternoon. So uh, there's the kibble, there's the raw chicken, and put some salmon oil, again, just some fish oil on top of it. And let's see how she likes it. She went crazy over it yesterday morning. And as you can see, Miss Bella is eating like crazy. She loves her chicken. Wow. 
Stop the breeze, Bella. <laughs> I mixed it a little bit more, so she's more of the kibble, too. But she's loving this raw dying. She's gaining weight like crazy. All right, Bella was sleeping, but she woke up because it's dinner time. Between 5 and 5.30, she's here at dinner. So we got, you know, about a cup of kibble there or so. And then, typically, she's only going to get one of these a week, but we'll catch her up on her weight. And she's already gained two pounds. She went from eight pounds to ten pounds. This week she is six weeks old, but we're trying to catch her up really quick because we want her to be huge. We want her to get to about 120, 130. Chicken foot. Roar, chicken foot. She loves these things. So that's going in there. She already got her fish oil this morning. So it's just a chicken leg, um, or rather chicken foot, and this. And like I said, we're going to scale back next week and get her on her exact proportions. But this week we really wanted to see a big weight gain because... Um, we thought she's a little bit smaller than she should be. So Bella's patiently waiting for her dinner. I'm surprised, but she is. All right, guys. We're about to give Bella um, her first taste of hamburger meat, raw hamburger meat. And I added the oil, the fish oil, and there's some um, kibble in here. We definitely found out she has to have kibble. If she does not have kibble, she tends to get diarrhea. So we're going to see how it works out. But there's raw hamburger meat, and it's more than she needs. But uh, we were on vacation, and she went all day without really her, her raw food since this morning. and she Or kibble, so she's pretty hungry. So we're going to feed her pretty good. We'll see how it looks when she tries it in a second. All right. She went to it like crazy. <laughs> this is a hungry dog. She's ready to eat. She's wolfing down his food. She loves raw food. She loves her kibble. But she doesn't love anything as much as she loves her raw food. So there is Bella eating like cray-cray. She loves that raw hamburger meat. This dog is gaining weight like crazy. So we're happy. Hey guys, we are on a trip, but Bella still got has to eat. And we are, I'm not gonna give her any kibble tonight because we brought a little too much meat. So she's gonna have a little more meat than normal. Um, this here is um, ground turkey patties. And it, I'm giving her a little bit more food than normal. Uh, she didn't really but have a, eat some breakfast this morning. So I'm giving her ground turkey. And then I'm also giving her a chicken gizzard. So she is getting a ton of food, but she's hungry too. You can hear her. She's ready for dinner. Because, you know, around 5 to 5.30 is her dinner. You can hear her. So Bella's going to eat. So it's ground turkey and chicken gizzards. All right, guys. Welcome back to the adventures of Dad. And Emma. And Mom. <laughs> Mom is guest starring because she's super cool and really pretty. So, and a little bit embarrassed to be on camera, but that's okay. So, uh, today we are working on making a meal prep for our, a canny corso, a corso, or I'd call him canny corsi, but uh, <laughs> canny corso puppy, and for our bug, which is a, what's a bug? Boston Terrier Pug Mix. Okay, so we're doing that. So, that's what we got going on. Um, so, let's first look at what we have. I have to tell you that they're both eating the same amount because the bug actually needs lower percentage and her name is pumpkin and the, and the, and the candy is uh bella the bug needs a lower percentage of food and they're 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 almost close in weight so bella's about 10 she's about 20 bella needs six percent she needs about two and a half to three percent so it, it's almost the exact so they're getting the same right now but it'll change later so first let's see what we have there um Aaron, baby, can you hold up the meats that we'll be doing? So we are going to be doing chicken gizzards and chicken strips. Okay. Uh, chicken foot and liver. Okay. Now let's let's them do the what else? Um, we'll also be having some spinach and carrots for them, and a strawberry. Okay. So they have to get so much of everything. They need a muscle meat, one ounce each day, and everything. So, um, that's two of the gizzards uh, make an ounce, or one uh, piece of chicken make an ounce. So, they're going to put them in each day. So, if y'all could, put them in the days. Because we freeze these. We meal prep a week ahead. And the only thing they can't do is mix them. And not that it would hurt them to have extra muscle meat or anything. But, remember, it's two gizzards per each container. Because that equals an ounce. Yeah, so that'd be two. And any one... And then the rest has to be chicken. And of course, we also do things like hamburger meat. Um, our, our, our puppy does not like 
um, does not like, um, oh, what's what I'm trying to think of? She doesn't like turkey. It doesn't set well with her. So, hon, it should have been counted out perfect. So, this is actually supposed to go in with this one, I think. So, there we go. So, there should be one more chicken. There you go, hon. Okay. And, Emma, you got yours? Okay. So, next is your chicken foot. Pick one for it to go in. Now, show, show that chicken foot. Ah! No one see it. Ah! So put the chicken foot in one of them, any of them. Okay, so next, show us the liver, if you would, Aaron. Okay, so there's the liver and everything. And so we have the liver. Let me show you your liver. So this is this is like an ounce of liver. Uh, we usually do organ meat beside liver, but we don't have that yet. We're looking for a supplier. So we did a little more liver than normal. Y'all can put the livers in any of them y'all want to. I will do it right now. <laughs> and our on-screen talent has to run off screen for just a second. But um, put them in any one you want to. Okay, all in whatever, however you want to do it. But they're putting chicken livers. We also have beef liver. Like I said, we need to find a supplier of muscle meat. So however you want to do it. Okay, perfect. Can this go in with the chicken foot? It can go in any one you want to. It does not matter. And then we'll give her... So you can have that. Oh, see where she's got it. chicken, chicken foot, and liver. That's fine. Then we'll put this one. However you want to do it. All right. Uh, now, uh, your your strawberries probably be easier. Okay. I'll be giving my dog two, piece, two, two pieces of strawberry a day. Okay. I'm just going to do a piece a day. However you want to do it, y'all are the mixing ladies. Okay. So that's what you did? Let yeah, except for two days. Okay. Won't, she won't have any. Very good. But. Now the spinach and carrots, however y'all want to put it. And we're going to try, we're kind of new to this, so we're going to try it. We may decide to blend everything together later on and see if blending works better. She gets. But for now, we're doing it this way. I'm going to be giving her three carrots a time. Three carrots a day, okay. And we don't know yet if they like carrot. We don't, they haven't shown any allergies or anything. Only uh, Bella has shown that turkey doesn't sit that well with her. And definitely not eggshells. Um, when we go to actually feed them, we'll actually put in a squirt of each one of salmon oil. But that is, um, that is not going to be frozen because I think that will be nasty paste. And I think it will give them a little flavor to have it right on top. And we're also going to be doing kibble. Girls, do we decide if we're going to freeze the kibble with it or just add it on top of kibble later on? Um, I think that we should probably add it on. But okay, that sounds good. I so think kibble. we should add it on top of kibble. Okay, uh, so once we go to feed them, we just add it onto kibble. And they're going to each do half a cup of kibble a day. Also, two of the days they don't get strawberries and two of the days. And if they don't get strawberries, they get carrots. And if they don't get, and if they do get strawberries, they don't get carrots. So kind of show me an example of what this looks like here. So, <laughs> just, just temp it up so I can see. So, just kind of an example. These are these are 8-ounce cups, and uh, just an example of what it looks like and everything. So, that's there. Now, we are actually going to feed them a huge dinner tonight as kind of a treat, as kind of a celebration of us finally getting this all set up and our, our macros right and everything. So, in a minute, you're going to see, or a second... As, as it feel like magic, because I'll pause this, you're going to see them eat a big old dinner, and I'll explain what it is. Okay, guys, and this is what they're going to have their giant meal tonight. They don't usually eat anything like this. This is about, this is about two ounces of stuff. It's some liver. It's some um, ground meat and some chicken. It's kind of a big treat for them and everything. And um, we're actually going to add some other uh, some of their oil because we can do that. But in the meantime... Here are our two dogs. Uh, tell me a little bit about each of them. Tell me about Pumpkin. Um, this is Pumpkin. She's panting because that's what she does. <laughs> um, she is a bug. She's a pug Boston Terrier mix. She actually turns two um, July 25th. So a couple so, weeks. Yeah, she's almost two. She's, she's a pretty small dog. Her and Bella are actually pretty close in size. Pretty close in weight, too. All right. So, how about Bella? Tell us about Bella. This is Bella. She's about seven weeks old now. Oh, what kind of dog is she? She's a Canny Corsa. 
And a candy core seat, got you. <laughs> huge, huge paws for her age. She's every time I look at her, she gets bigger. She does. Look at this <laughs> giant dog, seven weeks old. <laughs> like She's at least ten, and she might be eleven pounds. We were waiting for her skill to come in. Can we compare the paws really quickly? Yes, compare the paws. Wow, Bella's paws are bigger. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to take now and put one pump. Oh, it's splash fluid. That's okay. That's what we can clean it for. Of the Omega-3 fish oil. They need those extra vitamins and stuff. So, let's see how the dogs like their dinner. All right. As you can see, they love that raw diet. They're going nuts. No pumpkin. Don't, don't get everywhere. We're getting a raised platform for them. As you can see, pumpkin's getting everywhere. Bella, she's just wolfing it down. She loves it. Pumpkin just ate so far. <laughs> pumpkin just ate all that. So, as you can see... Raw diet is working well for these dogs. They're healthy. They're gaining weight. We, we're not vets, but we're saying we do enjoy the raw diet for them. Um, shout out to Michelle Brazil, who is, I think I'm proud of that, maybe Brazil. I'm not sure. And she gave us a lot of information. Oh, my goodness. They ate all that. And, and Bella's still trying to get more. Uh, but shout out to her because she gave us a lot of information through her videos. So uh, we really appreciate that. Uh, God bless everyone and have a good day. All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, as you can see, I am about to feed Bella dinner. She's whining because she's ready for it. And so I have her some kibble. And this morning she had kibble and eggs, so I'm actually going to give her meat. So one squirt, one good pump of the salmon oil, which you've seen before. And now I'm going to try around beef tripe. And I'm giving her, I'm giving her quite a bit, really, because um, she didn't have any that this morning. Um, but egg and it's because I accidentally fed her double dinner yesterday so she's kind of getting double again today she's gaining a lot of weight she's 14 pounds we believe we'll know better when we get the scale tomorrow but as you can hear she's impatient for dinner Bella leave it she's impatient for dinner so we're gonna get her fed and uh, hopefully I'll let you know how she likes it all right Bella is all hungry and you can see she's attacking the tripe and I'm not sure she likes the tripe as much as she likes other stuff but she is going for it, she's eating it, and so it seems to be a success. Brother, just to give you an idea of how much it takes to feed this dog, which is four and a half pounds a, of meat alone, and like six and a half pounds of food altogether, this is four and a half pounds, no, it's not quite four and a half pounds, but close to it, of lamb, chicken, and beef heart. That is uh, seven ounces of kidney, seven ounces of liver, 10 ounces of chicken feet, uh, an ounce of, of uh, apple, and that is, um, like I forget how many ounces, seven ounces of mixture of cilantro and spinach. So that's how much it takes to feed this dog right now, the gain weight for a week. All right, guys, welcome back to the Adventures of Dad and Emma. We're short of Emma tonight, but my lovely wife, Erin, is here. And we are preparing Bella's food for the week. Now, Bella is now a big girl. She's over 14 pounds. And so we, we prepare her food like she's close to 15 pounds at because we want her to grow. So she's getting 6% of her body weight. And this food is for the whole week. So we're kind of one of those things where we just take this the whole week and we divide it up between seven containers. And it's fine. However, that, that works because she's going to get what she needs for the week. So we do Monday to Monday. So, Aaron, what's this first bowl here? The first bowl is lamb, heart, and chicken. Okay, beef heart? Beef heart. Okay, what's this one here? Uh, this one's kidney. Beef kidney? Yes. And liver? Beef liver? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Vanna White. What's this one here? Uh, chicken feet. Chicken feet. And well, uh, you were gonna like eat the chicken foot, would you? Why were you picking up the chicken foot all weird it right looked, there? It looks like okay. It looks weird. <laughs> Freddy Krueger and the chickens. Look, look at these claws on these chickens. <laughs> kind of scary. A little bit of apple. A little bit of cilantro. And I say a little bit. It's a lot. This is seven ounces of cilantro and uh, spinach. But you have to understand, we do still give her some kibble every day because we want to make sure. And we do give her fish. Uh, oil too, but I spray it on the kibble and then dump the food on there. So that's how we work that. So it's seven ounces 
seven ounces, um, seven ounces, four, almost four and a half pounds, an ounce, 10 ounces. I think I said already had seven ounces. Okay, so why don't you kind of show like how you're gonna do it. Show like set up one day, that's fine. Just take one day and however you wanna do it, cause it doesn't matter if he doesn't get an apple one day, if she doesn't rather, because it doesn't matter cause it's gonna be the whole week. But show me how you're gonna set up like one of them. So, I figured I would start with the hardest to fit in first. So I'm gonna put one chicken foot. Oh, let me interject real quick right here. So our breakdown is 70% uh, muscle meat, 5% liver, 10% bone, 1% fruit, 7% veggies, 5% organ meat, and we do not, and I kind of rounded it up this week, I'll be honest, I ended up giving like the same <coughs> amount of liver and, and everything, but I rounded it up, it's, but we do not give them nuts and seeds, because I had some worries about that with allergies, and figuring with kibble, they get plenty, and this is just Bella's food, this isn't, pumpkin gets a fraction, because she wants to maintain her weight, and not gain weight because she's already porker okay so i'm sorry now show us you put what i put a chicken foot in because those are usually the hardest yep. to work around now all together you have 10 chicken feet to fit into this week just to let you know there's 10 there there's 10 so i might put two in here okay now what you're gonna put i'm gonna put some liver okay and then i'm gonna put some kidney okay and then I'm just gonna grab some random stuff out of here. Some good old meat. And I might put some cilantro. Ooh. Now, see, we'll freeze these, and that actually helps because it kind of binds it all together when you freeze it. And as you can see, it is not easy packing this in. We're actually going to have to move to bigger cups. We have 16-ounce cups. We're going to probably move up to like an 85-ounce cup or something like that or a 24-ounce cup. Something to make it a little bit easier. So just show like what a fraction so far looks like. And you're going to have to pack it down more. I can already tell. Definitely. So we've got, I mean, this is what I'm planning on, so I might end up taking more from this big bowl and adding more to that. Oh, definitely. On top. And that'll help weigh it down too, right? Yes. So this is just gonna be like her, this will be her breakfast tomorrow. So Bella, Bella, cause we, we're shooting for Bella right now. She's, she's over 14 pounds. We're acting like she's almost 15 pounds. And we're shooting for her final weight as an adult and maintain weight to be a minimum of 120. And we'll be good to 130, but probably 120. So you can see packing it in there. She's just packing it in there. So this is what we have. That's all I can fit in this container. Hey, you can fit a little bit more. You think so? Hey, you can fit a piece of apple or two in there if you wanted or or uh, whatever you wanted. You could fit in there. You could. I think I might see? do a little more of this meat because I, <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to do all of it. Some of the cilantro maybe too you could put on the top and really pack. But I would put... To me, the veggies go in the middle to really pack them in so they get the meat flavor on them so they're more likely to eat them. So yeah. just an idea. So we're still experimenting a little bit too. But as you can see, that is a 16-ounce full cup full of uh, food. Now go ahead and, well, once you get it all squished in, uh, just show them with the lid and see how packed that it really is. Okay. Here it is. So the lid fits on snug. But as you can see... That is, is a full container of food for her for one day. We still have all these days. One day. One day of food. And that's what it's going to take to get your, your, your Corso, as I call them, candy Corsis. Yeah, I know it's not their name, but I still like to do it. Uh, that's what's going to get to get them to be full size. So we're going to pack these up and, and, and then through the, and I'm going to help my wife them through the magic, the magic of, of of uh of uh cell phone technology because we didn't decide to use our gopro through that magic you're gonna see what it looks like in the end but i'm gonna help her pack all of it away all right guys as i said through the magic of technology woo, we've now got seven very packed cubs as you can see we decided to put veggies more in the bottom so it soaks up that meat this one looks like it's almost ready to pop it's so full so that'll be tomorrow's breakfast but see, as you can see, we should have a job in the meatpacking industry. That's what we should see. What do you think, babe? Think we can make it a meat pie? <laughs> but this is a week for her. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, 
and then Monday we'll make her more food. But this will be her breakfast every morning with a little bit of kibble. She's starting to get more and more meat, so we'll do a little bit less kibble, but enough to make up for no nuts or anything like that, and to make sure she's still getting everything. Pumpkin will do her food separate, and hers is more kibble because she's an older dog, and we're, we're trying to watch it. Anyway, um, we can't do our catchphrase of acting goofy, ignoring common sense, but I just want to thank my lovely wife for helping, and I wish you... Uh, all kinds of blessings um, as you go forward and, and take care of your uh, Candy Corso puppy. And please leave comments in the um, comment section. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted by Bella. Comments in the comment section about um, what if you have questions or suggestions even. We are always learning. We're not vets. So I think Bella wants to be on camera. So I think we're going to let her be on camera for a second. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see this very well, but Bella's getting huge. She's now over 14 pounds at eight weeks uh, as of yesterday. We got her uh, one day short of six weeks, and in these two weeks, she's gained six pounds. She is already getting to be a big, big girl. So it's working, and she's healthy. Her, her poops are good. She pees a lot. She that you know as much as she needs to. She drinks plenty of water. Everything's very healthy. Her first vet appointment for her next set of shots is on Friday, and we're just really proud of her growth. She's learning commands. She's very trainable. She's very lovable, and we're just very blessed to have her. And just as we are blessed to have y'all, so click that subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment, and just God bless you all. Bella, say bye. Bye. <laughs> God bless, my friends. All right, guys. Welcome back to the Adventures of Dad and Emma. Guest starring my gorgeous, lovely, wonderful, beautiful wife, Erin. And our messy table because we've been chopping and dicing. And by we, I mean me. While she sat around and played video games and looked beautiful. You looked hot. Thank you. I appreciate that. You looked hot, too, playing your video games <laughs> while I worked my butt off. So, um, we are going to mix. Bella is now 18 pounds. And everything. Um, so let's show what we have. Baby, can you pick up the uh, Victor dog food? Four cups of Victor dog food for the week. Um, pick up that one. That is a little over five pounds. That's uh, steak, chicken, and hamburger meat. Uh, this is right here nearly, what is that? That's 12 ounces of chicken bones. This is a lot, the chicken feet. Can you show them one of the chicken feet, babe? Just pick it up. Can, can you put it near the camera? Can you do the chicken dance with it? Okay, that's, never mind. <laughs> we just lost 15 subscribers. <laughs> um, so this is, let me just say, this is the last you'll have her bones like this. We are gonna start grinding them. Uh, and my son, Christian, is actually gonna do the grinding for us. So that way we're a little bit, make sure there's no chance of bone issues. Okay, uh, can you show them the kidney? Right there. That is seven <laughs> ounces of kidney. Well, it's probably closer to seven and a half. And then we have eight ounces of liver. We just get a little extra. Then these two is seven ounces, a little more. It's more like eight ounces of carrots and uh, mushrooms. And then we have about um, uh, six, six and a half, seven ounces of apple because she really likes apple. So we're going to mix all these together into a big bowl. You're going to have to get the bowl. And then we're going to distribute it to a whole week. Boom. Can you say it again? No, oh, wait. <laughs> this is the action scene. Do the boom again, baby. Well, I have to. Oh, okay. She's going to boom, I guess, when it's in there. Boom. <laughs> Don't break my stuff. We already got I a messy table. It. Okay. So what are you putting in there first? Are you putting the do uh, meat and dog food on top? How are you doing this? I figured I would or are you layering put it? some of the meat, some of the dog food. Okay. Well, get at it then, girl. This is the part she wanted to do so bad. She wanted to be messy. And our daughter will be doing this in the future. So God help us all. I think they're getting ma uh, matching Team Bella uh, aprons or something like that. I, God only knows. So, and no, yes, y'all know my name is Ed Edward. I am not Team Edward. I guess I would be Team Edward. But we're not going to revisit those those days of Twilight. But we did recently watch the movie because it was hilarious. We are going to get Team Edward shirts in just saying. God help me. Anyway, so okay, so you got a layer of meat, and now you're doing a layer of dog food, okay? Oh, yeah. And 
What are you doing next? Are you just adding the chicken bones on top of it, Bo? Or are you mixing those in too? Okay, I didn't know if you were gonna just put them on top when you did that. I mean, technically Bella is her dog, even though, you know, she's a daddy's girl. So uh, she gets to kind of decide how this food looks. I kind of do all the chopping and measuring, math, stuff like that. Okay, are you gonna mix it in there a little bit? Yeah. Okay, well mix some. Well, I'm mixing. I have seen no mixing going on, guys. I don't know about y'all. I see no mixing. I feel like I should be singing that song. When the moon hits ya, like a big up pizza pie. That's amore. That's amore. No, I can't sing, guys. But at least, you know. Well, I, that's all I had, really. What about the apples? There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow, that is some good mixing there. Mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. Mix that food. Mix that food. We could probably. Dog food tried to escape. Well, the dog food tried to escape, though. Yeah, I think it's, if we mix it well, and let me just say, I can't think, and I'll have to give him a shout out later. I'll have to look and, and see who said it. But one of either on TikTok or on here on YouTube. And if you haven't uh, visited our TikTok, you should visit. It's at Bearded Texas Hulk. Uh, that's my TikTok. Our family TikTok. Uh, we do all kinds of videos. Um, they suggested mixing it really good so she would be sure to eat her dog food. Because sometimes she doesn't eat the dog food. She loved the meat like crazy. Bella loved the meat. Oh, also shout out because Bella's future husband, Diesel, uh, was going home with my best friend. In a couple of weeks, he went visit him, and and, uh, and he's a beautiful looking dog. He's a big boy, so we're gonna have some beautiful puppy one day. So, as you can see, all mixy mixy. How do you feel, babe? You feel like it's a good I mix? Feel like it's okay, a good we're gonna mix. show you it in totes in just a second. Not totes in the in the cups in just a minute. We have to move up to big cups. Okay, guys. So we we decided something different. We're gonna actually put the chicken feet. We took them back out and put them on the bottom. And everything of each one. So my wife's gonna start putting some on each one. We have seven big tubs, as you can see here. Seven big tubs. So we got like eleven or twelve chicken feet. Is that all of them, babe? Uh, yeah, that's all. Of okay, so you got a little bit of chicken feet in each one of these. One or two in each one. So she's plenty. See, like this one. And now she's starting to, to fill this up. We also have our other dog's food. It's considerably less. But... Yes, of course, love. But she's putting some in each one. We don't care if we get the exact same amount every day. Um, she, this is a good mixture. This is actually... I have to give a shout out. I am going to find out who that person is, and we may do something special for them. Maybe we can feature them or something. I don't know. We can do a, if it's TikTok, we can do a stitch or something. I don't know, but I do want to send again a thank you out. I'm going to go research who that is that gave us a, a suggestion and um, for mixing it like this. Yeah, the bowls are a little bit bigger, like, but that's okay. I don't care if the bowls, like in our last video, the bowls were packed to the top. That's not really necessary. So... Just try to spread it out on some of these. These like here don't have very much, babe. I wouldn't put any more in these. I would concentrate the rest on these four because uh, they don't have very much. And we want to make sure she gets satisfied every day. So it's not an exact science, but this has probably got the least one in there, baby. Maybe I know. Oh, I'm sorry, my love. I'm just going to take a little bit out of that one. So see, and pretty much, I'm going to say we're, we're pretty close to about the same amount every day. Some days might be a little bit more or less. But she gets treats during the day. We tend to give her like chicken gizzards for um, for treats for doing well. And her training is doing awesome. So um, she she's not gonna in any way, shape, or form not not uh not get full every day. But here we go. See a good variety of food every day. And if she doesn't get the exact same liver, amount of liver each day or whatever, it doesn't matter because we're going by the week and she's getting her percentages for the week. How do you feel, babe? You look exhausted after all that. Uh, 
that was a lot <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, signing off. First, I say, well, like this video, please. Subscribe to it and everything. When we hit 100 uh, subscribers, we are going to break uh, raw eggs over my daughter's head and my wife's head. And because uh, it's going to be funny. And we'll have our own video and a TikTok for that. And when we hit 1,000, you get me wearing a dress. Singing, it was Agatha all along. So get us to a thousand people. Subscribe, like, share. And this has been the Dad and Emma show. Acting goofy. I don't remember. <laughs> and ignoring common sense. Word. <laughs> God bless y'all. Everyone, welcome to the adventures of Dad and Emma. You probably heard her say Emma. She's off ca uh, camera. We have our special guest star today, Christian. Uh, my son, Emma's brother, and he's going to grind some chicken feet for us for our feeding of our dog. Can you show us those chicken feet again, bud? Yeah. <laughs> okay, show us how they grind. This is electric grinder, right? Yeah, electric grinder. Okay, so show us what you do. It goes through the top here, and you're going to grind it. I got this, so... Does it go this, go here? Yeah, it goes there. So, okay. when you're using the grinder... When you're using a grinder, don't put your finger near the hole. It should be an obvious thing. Some people decide to stuff it. If it gets stuck, don't use that because of the tool you can just pack it in with. Okay, right. show us how this baby works. So, this one goes the we bought has a stuff and grind one. We're gonna put it on grind. Okay, and I think that is a one or more. Two, I don't know what size hole that is. But. Okay, here we come. Grinding out. Look at that grind it up chicken and bone. So now it won't hurt the dog. Okay, so we got the grind it up. That's so what's not, going on? So that's not all of it. When you're using a grinder, this entire tube is gonna be filled with the ground meat. It's the okay. blades right here. Okay. Meaning that I'm probably gonna run this through a second time, make sure everything gets ground down. But when you look in there and you see the auger is clear, there's nothing inside of it being pushed further into the blade. You can then turn it off, turn it off, unplug it because you don't want to make a mistake when taking this off. You're gonna take the pan off. See what thing come off. All right. You unscrew this. All right. Really didn't have to unscrew that. I'm probably gonna put this back on. But, but you can unscrew it if you want to. You can unscrew it if you want to. You don't need to. So what are you doing? Just taking off the front? I'm gonna take this off. That's holding it all together. Making sure it's the 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 machinery is off because you want to keep your fingers. I right? unplugged the machine. Okay, it's unplugged. So that's gonna go in here. I'll get on the table. This actually, I'm gonna get some to help. But basically, that's the whole point. It's ground. It's now usable, correct? And that's safe for the dogs because itty bitty. There's no chance of bone breaking. Yeah. Not that there's really that big of a chance. Anyway, it's it's a chicken foot, but now it's extra, extra, extra safe. As you can see, it's very well ground up. And that's going to be for Bella's dinner. Hey everybody, welcome back to the adventures of Dad and... Emma. And... Mom. <laughs> and we're here this week. For the fourth week, we're making Bella's food. So let's, let's get to it. She's now up to seven pounds of meat a day. We're doing an 80, 10, and 10 ratio now. 80% meat, 10% uh, uh, organs and liver, and 10% uh, ground bone. So let's get to it. Let's start looking at some of what we have. Can you pick up that first bowl right there? That is liver and kidney. Chicken liver and beef kidney. What's in that next bowl? That is kibble. What's in the next bowl? Ground sardines. That's right. We took sardines and we ground them up. That way we made sure. And these are whole sardines, heads and all. Okay. Emma, can you pick up that one in the front? Yes. Let's show the people. If you saw an earlier video, you saw this being ground. This is ground up chicken feet. So it's got the bone. What's that one? Is that your favorite, Emma? Broccoli. Broccoli. So we cut out veggies, but we are going to put a little bit of cooked broccoli in and see how that goes. Okay. 
Show us this. What is this, Emma? It is. I'll tell them what it is. It's beef steak and other beef stuff. Show them. Uh, show them a piece of that good marbling on that beef. Show them a, a good piece. Look at that. So we don't go cheap on our dogs. They eat better than us. Uh, and then show them the last one. Chicken gizzards. Okay, that is a little cheap, but it's chicken gizzards. Okay, so uh, we're going to mix this all in one big bowl, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are you going to put in first? Okay, so the sardines are going first. She does not like the sardines. You have to get all that out. Okay, you got it all out. Okay, and then next, the, you're putting in the kibble. Okay, this is two cups of kibble. We're cutting down on the kibble because really, she doesn't really need the kibble with all that she's eating. Okay, Emma, you want to add something next? Okay, Emma is adding in the ground chicken feet. Okay, that's fine. It'll be mixed in a minute. Okay, what's this? Liver and kidney. Shibli. <laughs> Okay, Emma, what do you add it next? Chicken gizzards. The cheapest thing on this list, probably. Well, besides the broccoli. Okay, good, good, good. What's next? Okay, the beef. Okay, drop in the beef. We didn't really give her much chicken this week except for the gizzards and the feet. I want to see how she does on less chicken because I worry a little bit about allergies and now the broccoli. Okay, ladies, now who's mixing all this? Okay, y'all can work together too. Unless you want to. Okay, y'all can work together and mix it. Oh, there's sardines. You can do it. Okay, somebody mix it. Get that all good and mixed in there. I forgot there was sardines. Next week we may try with puree uh, pumpkin too, or we may not not our dog pumpkin pureed, but just pumpkin uh, pureed up and um, see how that um, goes. Cause you know, want to make sure we start them on a probiotic. You want to make sure that their digestion is good. That's one reason why we're taking out all those veggies too. We're finding out the carrots. Bella wasn't digesting those well. And that dogs really don't need that kind of roughage. I'll be honest with you. If dogs need some greenery, they'll start eating grass for a little bit. But it don't hurt to add in just a tiny bit of broccoli. She probably won't eat it, but we'll see. And we didn't really put fruit in this time. But it's a treat. She might get a strawberry sometimes because she kind of likes strawberries. But I feel like we've got her covered on everything she really needs here. Look at that good mixing. I swear this is how this is better than we eat sometimes. You know, even my wife is a wonder, wonderful cooking. Well, I like sardines. Hey, I eat sardines, sardines every day. Of the week. These were whole raw sardines that we put in the grinder. You didn't get to see that video. You saw the chicken feet being grounded. Chicken. Emma, mix it up some more. Mix it up. Come on, ladies, mix it up, because y'all gonna put it in bowls in a second. Ew. You better we get it good and mixed. Okay, well, we're going to, mm. through the magic, show you the bowls in a minute. The magic of video. All right, guys, we have now finished due to the to the magic of uh, video looking. You can see Emma looks all sad. She's like, I've been having a mess with the fish. Show us that sad face again. Show it. Mm, truly sad. Okay, show us some of these buckets so we see what they look like. Someone, anybody, I don't care who. All right, so see it's all kind of ground up there. Show us some more of them. Here, I'll just go over them. Okay. There we go. See a little bit of veggies in some of them. We're not too worried, a little bit of broccoli. And that's that was microwave, like steam broccoli, basically. We put it in the steam bag ones and the microwave. So in each one of these, we have a little bit of gizzard, sardines, liver kidney and this will be what bella eats each day so well that's it for bella's we still have to go back and make pumpkins i guess we're not making a video of pumpkin food we are we're making a video of pumpkin food okay her food's a little bit different so that's my beautiful family so signing off in this video from the adventures of dad and emma acting goofy Word! God bless everyone. All right, guys, welcome back to another edition of the Dad and Ever Show. And we have guest star today of Pumpkin. And you know, usually we're doing videos about Bella's food, but Pumpkin's also on the raw food diet because we heard it's healthier and everything. 
And as you can see, hold up, pumpkin. Pumpkin's getting to be a chubster. She's, uh, she's gained a pound on this, and we wanted to keep her around 20, and now she's a little over 21. And, so we're, oh, sorry. sorry, no, go ahead. And don't worry, whenever I'm holding her like this, um, it does not hurt her back. She actually sometimes runs up to me to be held like this, and holding her up doesn't scare her. Yeah, the uh, pumpkin's fine. As you can see, pumpkin can be big for, for, uh, for a bug. That's what she is. She's a Boston Terrier pug mix, and she's the sweetest little dog ever, but she's getting kind of big. <laughs> So we're going to have to cut down our food a little bit and everything, but you know, it it'll be fine. But yes, raw food is known to help dogs live longer. So we're going to go a little bit different. So let's start with the first thing we have. Um, you probably have to put down pumpkin, unfortunately. She, Bye, pumpkins. She, she acted scared when I petted her because she did not like the gloves. Oh yeah, I know. She don't like those gloves, but that's good to know. And now she's off. Okay, so first thing here that let's look at is you still got to mix it together, sweetheart, first. Oh, yeah. Okay, first thing here is kibble. And this is only one cup of kibble. Yeah. High protein kibble. What's this? No, I have no idea. Okay, this is like a, what, a lot like with what we do with Bella. This is, hold it up a little bit again, baby. This is chicken gizzards. This is steak, uh, beef steak, no pork. This is also kidney and liver already mixed in there together. We did not give her any fish. And then what's this here, baby? This your... is chicken feet, yeah. and it was grinded. Yep, by your brother, in fact. Okay, there so let's... There's a video of that if you want to watch Yes, that. there is. Thank you for that plug. There is a video. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and start mixing it. You're going to dump that one first or the chicken first? Um, I'm going to dump the chicken first. Okay. Emma, why the... <laughs> Emma, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. No, to find its brain. You used to tell me it all the time when you were a little kid. To find its brain. I don't know what that was about. All right. So, the question that I have that other people might be having, why is it yellow? Uh, that's just its color of the meat. There's nothing wrong with it. That's fresh meat. Uh, chicken gives return time get that little bit of yellow color. I don't know why. But as you can see, Emma's now mixing it. You got to mix it really good, baby. Mix it all in there. That way. We got it again. Oh, this okay. kibble's trying to escape. It's a little bit messy. Look, my beautiful wedding ring. Kibble's trying to escape. I helped pick it. Yes, Emma picked it out. Well, I helped. Well, she helped. It was a wonderful idea. All right, the kibble. The meat. Emma, you were good at this. You could be a dog chef. Pumpkin is waiting around. It just like hits your shirt. It totally hits your shirt. <laughs> Look. Ah, chicken butt. <laughs> It's like a chicken piece of the foot. All right, so we got it pretty mixed up. We're going to come back in just a second and show you what it looks like in the containers. All right, guys, we're back. The food has been packed. Let's show some of it. Look, kibble shows up a little more in this, but you see all this good meat. And before, we, we always add, so they get a probiotic in the morning. Can I take the little bits that fell out, baby, and put them in there. And then we have to clean off the table, of course. The table will smell like fish and chicken. Um, but they get probiotics in the morning and everything. And if ever, you know, we do notice little digestive issues, we give them rice or anything like that, too. And, so. we, and we get the fish oil. Fish oil, that's correct. We give a squirt of fish oil on their food. They need that good vitamins. They get a lot of, they get everything they need through this meal and everything. Like I said, the dogs don't really need veggies. So, Emma did a fantastic job. As always, Emma is the best. Emma! Emma! You can put the lids on it so we can re we freeze it. Yeah. Is what we do. So, um, except for one, Emma, leave one out for tomorrow. So, but we freeze it and everything, and that's how we do it. These lids are just a little bit harder to get on. Because the chicken's all around here. Yep. A little bit. So, but... Now, now Bella's set up for a week, and and uh, Pumpkin's set up for a week, and they will be great. We'll keep one out. We'll freeze the rest, and we'll set that one out to uh, when I take in uh in the morning when I feed them. This is for t tomorrow, okay? In the morning when I feed them, then I'll put one out to to start defrosting the refrigerator. But that'll do it for us. <laughs> Wonderful job. All right, sign off. This is this is Dad. And Emma. Acting goofy and ignoring concepts. Word. God bless everyone. Okay, guys, we're gonna make Bella's food for the week. I just want to show you real quick. It's 
beef heart, uh, beef pancreas, calf liver, turkey, ground beef, and three packages of chicken thighs. It's like uh, 17, 18 pound food. She'll share it with pumpkin. And so, you know, raw diet. She's growing like a weed. I'm not sure how much she weighs today, but she was at 41. I expect her to be at least 45 pounds this week. We'll show you what it looks like when we're done for one week. Hey guys, this is the finished product. We've got beef heart. We got uh, hamburger meat, we got rice, we got uh, kidney, we got calf liver, well, not kidney, we have uh, pancreas. And we decided to save the turkey, give her a treat, just pure turkey tomorrow, also because I want to see how she does on turkey. So I didn't want to mix it, I want to see how she does on turkey. We haven't tried turkey with her in a long time. So she didn't like it that much before, but we'll see. So uh, signing off from the Adventure of Dad of Emma, and this has been Raw Food Diet. All right, guys, welcome back to the adventures of Dad and Emma. Emma's off camera right now sorting stickers. But we're just kind of looking at Bella's food this week. We haven't really been keeping week-by-week -week videos anymore because she's really graduated to, like, whole packages of meat. We don't need to really cut it up, do it other stuff. We do still give her some veggies, not real heavy on veggies. Um, we do give her um, also some rice and yogurt as she needs, but she gets... You know, the other stuff she needs from her vitamins. We give her vitamins. Uh, and this is kind of just what it takes to feed this dog for a week. Now, granted, keep this in mind. This is her and a little pug, too. And pug doesn't eat a lot, but they share food. So, like, let's say day one of the week, we'd give her breakfast, chicken leg quarters. And then lunch, chicken leg quarters would bone in. And the next day for breakfast, she'd get some... Um, bone-in drumstick she loves those that's like two and a half pounds and then like two pounds of beef heart for dinner then this this five pound package of a boneless skinless chicken thighs would be broken up and lunch and dinner and then another day some leg quarters another day some chicken thighs another day she would get chicken thighs and then like for dinner some uh, pancreas the sweet meat sweet bread whatever you can call it pancreas Another day she get liver, and um, so that's all about almost that's a little over a pound of sweet meat, and that's good for her. And then a pound of liver another day, and uh, boneless chicken or uh, bone-in chicken thighs. So she gets plenty of everything she needs. Now I don't always do this much chicken; it's just the way it's fallen this week. I also do things like hamburger meat. Stew meat. It just depends. This week, it's a heavy on chicken diet. She really loves chicken and everything. And she, I mean, she loves chicken. And she really enjoys beef heart. And she, she, she also loves fish. Now, see, that's something I don't really show here. But one day, I might decide, you know, I'm not going to give her chicken thighs for both meals. I might run out and get some fish and give her fish because she loves fish. Uh, like I said, usually some fruits and veggies mixed in as snacks and some rice. But this is what it takes to feed Bella. If you just want to go what it takes to feed Bella and their little pumpkin. Bella is now um, five months old and she goes to the vet tomorrow. I'm sure she's going to weigh about 60. So 60 give or take. So she's growing big. She's huge. And she is getting starting to get be protective and she's got a loud, loud bark. So this has been the adventures of Dad and Emma. And just keep in mind when you get a uh, Akani or Kani, however you pronounce it, Corso, that they need a lot of food. A lot of food. Anyway, God bless, guys. Y'all have a good day. Guys, something else I want to show you. I hadn't planned on it, but I'm going to show you. What does it take to feed your Corso for about a month? Close to a month. Look at this. That is full on that shelf. That's full on this shelf. Full on that shelf. And about half full on that shelf. And this isn't quite a month's worth, but liver pancreas beef heart so it they eat a lot if you want a big healthy dog they eat a lot and you know bella's by no means looks overweight or is overweight she is athletic fast and strong she plays a lot so she has to eat a lot this is what it takes to feed them i can show you better than i can tell you that i am a canny corso owner look at this yep bella's lunch yogurt Ground hamburger meat and sardines. What a hungry Candy Corsa looks like eating her oatmeal, sardines, 
and ground hamburger meat. As you can see, she's five months old and she is 60 pounds. This is what it looks like when a Canny Corso gets a whole chicken. She will devour this thing, tear it to pieces, eat it like crazy. She will tear this whole thing to pieces and eat it. And uh, <laughs> this is why she is so healthy and such a great size and the vet loves her so much because we do things like this for her. We make sure she's well fed and we make sure she gets her vitamins and her things like this. This is part of what it takes to have a healthy, strong Canny Corso on a raw diet. Good morning guys and look what we're making Bella for breakfast this morning. First, we add a pound of salmon, of course raw. Then, a pound of liver, beef liver that is. Nice and bloody. And now, we get two raw legs. And, and, and I'm going to bet that Bella's a happy, happy girl this morning. Good morning, you lovely people. Here I am making Bella, my almost six-month-old Connie Corso puppy, uh, breakfast. So, this morning, she's having a uh, about three cans of sardines. And then, we have a little over a pound of liver. She got liver back-to-back -back this week. And then... This is about a pound and a half, almost two pounds of beef heart. And I've already added some salmon oil to it. She'll also get her uh, joint medication this morning. So she will be all set and be a good girl. Welcome back to the adventures of Dad and Emma, my lovely friends. So this is what a balanced meal looks like for, for a candy corso puppy. On the bottom, I have some sweet bread, which is pancreas, and I have some liver. I'm not going to dig that out because... Ew, yeah, <laughs> they're kind of slimy. Um, top here, we have about three pounds of boneless, skinless thighs, chicken thighs. We have some raw chicken feet. We have about a third a cup of strawberries and half a cup of broccoli. And there is salmon oil sprayed on top of it, a few pumps. This is a balanced uh, meal. Uh, our puppy weighs about 80 pounds and she's six months old. Extremely healthy. Raw diet, people. You can't go wrong with it. Hello, and welcome back, guys. I just want to go to the importance of chicken feet. Chicken feet, while I have little meat, little of anything, they are super high in collagen, which is the most prevalent protein in the body. So, health benefits, help with joints, skin, everything. Cannot go wrong giving your dog chicken feet. You can cook them. If you're going to eat them, I would give them to your dog raw. The bones, they'll be able to crunch them real easy. They won't choke on them or the nails or anything. The health benefits are just off the charts, especially with the um, help of joints. So raw chicken feet cannot go wrong. I highly recommend. Not a vet, but I'm highly recommending them. Even for people. Not raw for people, but raw for your dog. So Bella will only eat frozen liver. She dragged it from the bowl. And she's now eating, but she'll only eat her liver frozen. Hello, folks. So here we have a small, balanced dinner for Candy Corso Bella. She had a big breakfast, so small dinner. Can't see very well, but there's a egg in here. There is fish. There is chicken feet. There's our probiotic. There's some spinach. There's strawberries. And I put fish oil on top of it. So a well-balanced dinner for Miss Bella.